What's up, everyone out there? How have you all been? Welcome back to the Christie Podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about how I was able to convince my parents to let me build my own electric bike. Let me take you guys back to a dark time in our lives that left each and every one of us bored out of our minds. March 2020, the COVID quarantine began. This knocked out millions of jobs and opportunities around the world. Being locked inside made us all feel like animals. Being the active person like myself, I simply just could not take it anymore and wanted to get out of the house which in my eyes was building an electric bike. Now you may be wondering, Alex, why didn't you just buy a pre-made electric bike that looks a lot cleaner than when you built? This is because electric bikes have starting prices at over $1,000. You guys and I both know that pretty much all teenagers don't have $1,000 sitting around, so I had to get creative. This is where I found myself searching up and down through YouTube to see how people even were able to complete this task. This brought me from video to video, with anything from in-depth explanations to ones that don't even show the basics. Sitting in my kitchen, frustrated by the emptiness to this topic, I had to go ask my parents first. So I go upstairs and see my dad, sitting on the couch watching Gold Rush, as always, and I ask him what he felt about me building my own electric bike. The first thing he said was, no, are you kidding me? But then later asked what the price was, to which he also said, Al, are you kidding me? Now, for most teens, they give up after the two scoffs, the three eye rolls, and the two blank stares. But that just wasn't the case for me. You see, if you really want something and put your mind to it, you will eventually get it if it's holding that importance to you. So for me, I did not stop the bugging and eventually went to my mom. A little background about my mom. She's a lot more lenient with things, but she can also say no too. She said she thought it was dangerous and all this other stuff, thinking I'm just a typical immature teen that will get hurt. This is where you guys need to prove your worth and responsibility. I looked my mom right in the eyes and said, please let me, I've been trapped inside for weeks and just went away outside. You know how much I want to be an engineer and this project will give me a little bit of insight on the building process. She then responded with a little bit of guilt and saying, we'll talk to your father. The next day comes and I'm sitting there waiting for my dad to get home from his meeting in New York while my mom's beside me cutting up the vegetables for our dinner that night. My dad walks in the door and here I am right in his nose about to give him a whole speech of why I need this bike. I go on and claim how much this would benefit me, as well as my brother, him, and my mom. I said they won't need to wake up in the morning to take me to work because I can bike there, and that they won't need to drive me places since I'll be able to bike there. My mom was skeptical, but eventually gave in, and it was just up to my dad. I go back on about how I'll be safe and I'll wear a helmet wherever I go. My mom felt bad that I'd been basically depressed up in my room doing nothing but sleeping and playing video games, so that's what led her to make her decision. My dad, on the other hand, still thought it wasn't a smart idea because it would take a while, and I wouldn't know how to do it. He also says it might not be worth the money if I were to buy and it doesn't work out. I tell him, Dad, my whole plan is simple and I have it all laid out, you can trust me, which was a lie to get my dad to have some confidence in my abilities. And it was, in fact, not a simple project. But for all you teenagers out there listening to this, don't let the fact that it was a challenge hold you back from trying to do something like this yourself. Never tell yourself that you can't or that your parents will say no. Because most of the time, if you give them good reasons and show them that the pros outweigh the cons, they will eventually give in. While they think this is very expensive because of the cost of electric bikes, it cost three times less and went two times faster than a bike you can get off the market. That's right guys, it went 40 miles per hour and only cost me around $600 if I included the extra tools and lights that I added on it. The incentive I had in my 16 year old self to go fast and get around my town was crazy. As a kid, I loved biking and would go everywhere. However, the constant bike ride a day with your friends distanced from you in the first quarantine stage got boring, and it got boring very fast. Being trapped inside is not something I like, and I'm sure you guys out there know what I'm talking about. You ever been grounded and can't go out, but you see all your friends having fun, you just can't participate? That's exactly how I felt sitting in my bed in the corner of my room, thinking about everyone who had their license in a car and can go wherever they wanted. Using that sort of logic to get into my parents' head really helped my case, making them feel as if they should trust me because I'm not some immature teen and I wanted to take on the challenge. Showing them I'd pay the money for the electric bike conversion kit and for the bike and battery itself proved to them I was really serious about completing this project. They had empathy for me because they know exactly how I felt when they were kids. They had to wait a while to get their license. My dad got his when he was 19 and he knows the anxiety I would go through in the first stage of quarantine because I wasn't allowed out for a while. Just like him since he got his after his first year of college. My parents then also realized the benefits that came along with me having the bike. They noticed that they wouldn't have to be my chauffeur every day of the week. This would mean they would save money on gas and wouldn't have to leave work to get me wherever I'm at. My brother would also not be miserable when he's around the house if he didn't have to always leave his friends to come pick me up. My parents giving in allowed me to start building my own freedom. This started by going to Walmart to find a pretty cheap bike and I found one that looked pretty nice and affordable and I took it home. 
I got the conversion kit for the bike about a week or two later, and this thing, let me tell you, was loaded with all sorts of wiring and parts that I'd never seen in my life. This wasn't too much of a surprise to me, since I watched countless unboxing videos of these similar kits, but I just didn't realize the quantity it had. I went to work and it ended up taking me about six months because of all these flaws that came along the way. At first I couldn't get the pedal off and then as a young 16 year old hoping to one day be an engineer, I rewired the entire brakes throughout the bike from front to back. This was an awesome learning experience because now I know how to put a bike together from its scraps, which is a cool skill in my opinion. I also had to take the motor box off and hand wire all the metal parts, which was very challenging since there were 20 different colored spots to place them. After all that, I had to drill a makeshift hole in the center of the bike frame to get the battery track on, which had to go slightly sideways. Either way, man, I got it on and that's all that matters. But then right after, the wire from the battery wouldn't connect to the motor and I was very stressed. This is what caused a lot of time in building this because I just didn't know why it didn't fit and I was beside myself. After all that, I used my logic and realized the battery was probably the wrong one. So I tried to return my current one and ended up just getting a refund and keeping it. I got a new one and it worked and boom, there's my new way of freedom. After all the challenges I knew I had to go through, I still wanted to get it done and have my way of transportation. I knew I had to keep my word that this would be my way to work in town as well as to my mom that I'd be a genuinely happier person and less sad if I were to just get outside and fly around on that bike. The moment my parents said yes changed how I felt about wanting anything forever. I knew that I could convince my parents if I gave them the right reasoning and showing them I could do it. My dad knows I want to be an engineer and eventually realized my point about it helping my knowledge was right. And it did in fact help, let me tell you all out there. Nothing's too expensive and your parents can't hold you back from everything forever. You guys need to realize that there will be a point in your life where you tell your parents you believe in something deeply and they will finally realize you're mature enough and take your word for it. It's all about trust and finding it in you to show them all the right reasons for having the things you want. Once you show them that, then everything from then on will be easier and you can count on that. Until next time, everyone, thanks for sticking around and listening to my story about convincing my parents to let me build an electric bike during the dark times of quarantine.